The big Toyota Sequoia, well, it's a Godzilla of an SUV. Actually, what it is is Toyota's full-size SUV based on their full-size pickup truck, the Tundra. When these vehicles were recently reintroduced, they became bigger. That's a bit out of step in today's automotive world, as cars get smaller to try to get better fuel economy. Let's see how the Sequoia fits in. When you buy an SUV this big, you want to have something with a lot of interior room, and the Sequoia, it doesn't disappoint. The second row seat, it's enormous. There's even enough room for me to cross my legs. And the third row seat, well, in a lot of SUVs, it's a seat in name only, but not in the Sequoia. You climb back here, and there's plenty of room for three adults. Hey, hey Tom. Tom. Hey, guys. With the third row seat up, some cargo space remains, but you get a whole lot more space if you fold the seat down using these power switches. Some of the compromises of such a large vehicle start to show up when you're in the front. It's a big climb into any of the seats, especially for short people. Short people also found it really difficult to reach the pedals, especially the gas pedal. At least there's a tilt and telescope steering wheel with plenty of range. Another compromise is such a big cabin. The controls are simple, but a lot of them, they're a long reach away, especially this tune knob and some of these climate controls. The Sequoia's sheer size, it doesn't do it any favors in routine handling. This is a big vehicle and you feel it every time you drive it. You're sitting up high, there's a lot of body roll. What also doesn't help is that the steering's weighting is really, really light. It reduces the confidence you have to pilot such a big vehicle around. Emergency handling isn't exactly confidence inspiring either. This big truck it gives up the ghost early with early stability control intervention. It has really modest limits and posted a low speed in our avoidance maneuver. The big Sequoia has truck-like handling. It also has truck-like ride. It's better than the last Sequoia, but that doesn't mean it's great. It's kind of unsettled on the highway with lots of little tossy pitchy motions. Not all that comfortable. At least it's pretty quiet inside. The Sequoia stopping distances are pretty long. So we have quite a few dynamic complaints with the Sequoia, but there is a positive. This beast, it's got a motor. There's 5.7 liters here and it's plenty fast. 7.1 seconds to 60, it's faster than a lot of sports cars. And it does all this getting 15 miles per gallon. Now, that's not great, but for a big behemoth like this, it's pretty good. So the Sequoia excels at all the things that you buy a mammoth SUV for. It's got plenty of power, it can tow a big trailer, lots of room inside. But you really got to think about it. Do you need an SUV this big? Now, there's lots of car-based SUVs. They have lots of room for your family. They get better fuel economy.